In this tutorial, I want to show you how to set up and configure WooCommerce and WC vendors. So WooCommerce is powering all of the e-commerce aspects of the solution, and then WC vendors is adding the ability for each one of your users to have their own store within WooCommerce that they can manage. So that means that WC vendors is dependent on WooCommerce being installed, and WC vendors Pro is dependent on WC vendors being installed. So the first thing you would want to do is go ahead and install and activate WooCommerce. This is a free plugin you can get in the WordPress repository. Now, this is a site that already has data on it. If this is your first time activating WooCommerce, it will take you through a really convenient installer that creates all the necessary pages and content for WooCommerce. And if you've never used WooCommerce before, it's gonna create a WooCommerce section on the left here with your orders, coupons, reports, etc. And then you can activate WC Vendors and it's gonna add a WC Vendors section into the WooCommerce panel. And from here, we can configure some things for our vendors. So a lot of the stuff we can leave basically as is, but we're going to want to enable vendor shop headers. That's gonna be important with the Marketplace plugin because we style the shop headers. And so you'll want that enabled. Let's just go through here really quickly. These are elements that you can hide from a vendor when adding a product. You can go to capabilities and select which things your user should be able to see. And then pages, this is where you select all the pages that are going to display things related to WC vendors. So for example, your vendor dashboard, it's probably gonna create these pages for you. If not, you can create a page and add this short code into the page and then assign it. So if we go to the front end, this would be our vendor dashboard. Now I'm logged in as an admin, so this is not gonna work. I have another account where I'm logged in as a subscriber and I can click on the vendor dashboard. And here you can see the free vendor dashboard, which is very simple. And then if I go to um, payment, we can set up payment schedules. You might wanna be able to pay commissions to your vendors and this is where you would set up the payment schedule for commissions. And now let's go activate WC Vendors Pro so this is a separate purchase you'd have to buy from wcvendors.com. And let's go ahead and activate it. Okay, so WC Vendors Pro is activated. And now if we go back to WooCommerce settings and go right back to WC Vendors, we've got some new options here, especially for vendor ratings and Pro. So if we go to Pro, you can see we can set up the Pro Dashboard page. And if I go here and go to the Pro Dashboard, you'll see we're getting a lot more content. Now, we have not yet enabled Marketplace, which is going to style all this to look really nice. So this is just sort of out of the box. But So we have our Pro Dashboard, and if this page isn't set yet, you're gonna to want to create a new page in WordPress and enter this short code and assign it to this page. Store header, you're gonna to wanna to select Pro, and again, enable the shop headers. And then vendor ratings, this is where you have your feedback page. If it didn't create a page for you already, again, you'd want to create a page called feedback and enter the short code in there and then come back here and save it. This is the area where after you've made some purchases on the site, you might want to go and leave feedback on those purchases and the feedback takes place on this page. So just to show you in your profile, you have an order history and this is a recent order and I can click that, that I've placed on someone else's shop, I can click leave feedback and you'll see it takes me to this feedback URL and that's where I'm gonna leave my feedback on the purchase. So that's the page that you're assigning here. Commissions, we've got here we can configure the actual commissions that I was talking about earlier. And then these elements, you can go through here on your own. These are basically related to which content you wanna display when people are adding a product, editing their settings, etc. So now let's go ahead and activate the Marketplace plugin. Here's Marketplace. If you purchased the Social Marketplace product, you would have been given a Marketplace plugin called BuddyBoss slash Marketplace.zip. You would just go to Plugins, Add New, and upload it, and then activate it. Marketplace is activated. Now, if we go back here and refresh it, 
you'll see suddenly everything looks really nice and slick. And if we go to the free dashboard, things are looking much better because our marketplace plugin, along with um, functional improvements, it styles everything in WC vendors to match one social really nicely like this. Now we can go to the marketplace settings, Buddy Boss Marketplace. And very similar to the menus you saw in WC Vendors, you can assign some pages to display the marketplace content. So for this one, you don't need to create any short codes. You just create a page for stores, a page for sellers, and then you come back here and assign that page to each section and click Save, Save Changes. And then once you've done that, if you click on Stores, it will output all the stores on your site. And of course, this content will be mostly blank until your users have started to create stores and add products to their stores. And then if you click on sellers, similarly, it's going to show all the sellers. So what's the difference between a store and a seller? Well, a seller is a member who has created a store. So here is John who's created the store Rare Collections. So he's listed as a seller. You can click him or you can click a store directly. If we go to stores, you can see Rare Collections. We're listing the store itself. Okay, so the next question you might have is, how does somebody actually become a vendor? How does someone get the ability to create a store? So for that, I'm gonna pause for a moment and log in as a brand new user. Okay, so we're logging in as guest user. This is a brand new user, is our first time logging into the site. And then we can click on dashboard, and you can see it takes us to the vendor application form. So let me just quickly fill out some stuff. We will, we'll call it guest store and let's apply. Application has been received. And now when you're an admin, you'll be sent an email that someone has tried to apply and you can respond to that or you can just go to users and you'll see, we can see all the vendors on the site over here and we can also go to pending vendor. So here's the pending vendor. Now if I go back to dashboard, logged in again as the subscriber, you can see your application has been received. So here we can go ahead and approve the user. And now that user has been moved to the vendors column. And here I would now have been sent an email telling me that my application has been approved. And if I reload the dashboard, boom, here we are. I'm now a vendor. And in fact, I have a store. So if we go to stores, you can see this is my store. And from here, I can configure everything from my dashboard. I don't ever have to log into the admin. So for example, I can go to products and on the product screen, I can actually add a new product. I'm not gonna do that now, but you get the idea. I can fill out all the information that you need for a product. I can add it to a category, upload an image, create a gallery, everything. And I can go to orders. And this would show all the, the order history of everyone who's ever purchased something from me. In fact, let me pause and re-log in with someone who has some data here. Okay, so now we're logged in as John who has been on the site for a while and you can see I have a full order history. I can see everything that's been ordered to me and if we've got shipping enabled on the site, I can add shipping labels and order notes, tracking numbers. I can um, mark it as shipped. If I go to products, you can see all the products that are on my site. I can edit any product. If I go to the dashboard, I can see data about everything that's going on in my store. And I can also edit the settings. Um, let's go to ratings for a moment. Here you can see all the feedback everyone's left on my products. And if I go to coupons, some coupons that exist for not, right now, I can edit the coupons, create new coupons to give out to people. And then I can always click view store. And this takes me to the front end where you can see my store and all my products. And you can see my the rating for my store, which is based on all that feedback that I've been given.